I'm standing next to Claw, you know, the familiar character from the Toy Story movie that we all know and love, but he's made of cans, and actually I'm standing in a building made of, with entirely structures just like this. It's for a competition of architecture and design, and pretty soon it's all headed to charity. The annual can construction, that's right, can construction is back again. It's our 21st year in Boston. It's an international design build competition where architects, engineers, and people in the construction industry build these colossal structures out of canned food. The yearly event in Boston's Seaport District is on display today, showing structures built entirely from canned food. We're donating over 85,000 cans this year from our one exhibit, which is amazing. It's our highest number to date. And colossal structures means colossal giving. All of the cans used are donated to food insecure areas of the state. So this year for 2016, we had a space theme. We called it Journey into Space. It turns out that the teams really like to have some sort of concept that they can build on. They have a 12-hour period to build on a Saturday. Most teams get it done. Um, within the eight-hour mark, we had three teams that built for 12 hours this year. They're intricate designs made from thousands of our most basic household items. We had a lot of really interesting structures this year. We had um, a UFO with a glowing tractor beam. We had several aliens. We had um, a conservatory, which was this observatory where you could actually peek inside of it and see small planets and stars. We're talking about food insecurities and, and that's really people that are working. It's your neighbors, it's people in your communities, it's people who have jobs but still can't meet the needs of their families to keep meals on the table. So this food is going to 23 communities that the Merrimack Food um, bank or contributes to it's they do a lot with our contribution every year and, and we're so proud of, of our team's efforts so if you do want to see any of these structures you're going to have to get here before saturday afternoon to 280 or 290 congress street reporting from the seaport district of boston i'm christina galato for butv 10.